Hello, I am Fasa and today I'm gonna learn you guys a bit um, about 360s and show you guys um, how to do 360s in Armor 3. So here in TLB, this is our common um, 360. Um, this is a guy getting medicked and here's someone medicking this guy up. Great. Um, but I'm not sure why these people are facing the guy getting medicked. I've never really understood why people in TLB do this. What I think is that this guy is covering for people coming from here. This guy is covering for people coming there. And I think this guy is covering from there and that guy is covering down there. I think this is what they do. I'm not sure. You have to ask the members in TLB. But they always do this. I'm not 100% sure why. Um, but they really like to face inwards in 360. I'm not sure why. It might be just... I'm outdated, but this is at least how I would make a 360. Then you have the guys that are medicking up here, and then you have people covering here. You know, this is a lot better, because now this guy doesn't need to crossfire over here for those people standing there, and this guy doesn't need to crossfire over there, you know, it's, it's a lot better. And I'm not sure why they always do this, because I kind of feel it's a bit hard, because now this guy, you have to shoot over there to shoot that guy, and he has to shoot over there to shoot that guy, and there to it, It's so unnecessary when you literally could have just been standing like, like that instead, you know, and you standing like that way, and that way, and you standing that way, and you stand that way. Like, this is ten times better. Um, uh, of course, the spacing it's a bit off, like they need to space out because one grenade and they're all dead. But this is already 10 times better because now that guy can cover a shoot there, this guy can also shoot there, and they can turn around and shoot them too. But they, they never need to crossfire. There's never going to be crossfire. That's a good thing. Uh, so, you know, they really like to have it like this. And if they want to do it like that, then sure. Um, but this is how I would like to do it. I hope people will start doing it this way. The uh, reason why is then because you can cover there, that guy can cover there, you cover there, and that guy there. Perfect, great. Of course, spacing is always good. If that guy stands, for example, there, you move over there, you move over there, and you move over there. If an enemy then comes over here, then there's a lot lower chance that everyone is going to die than if they were standing like this. Of course, you have when... Um, when we make like 360s um, like this and like this is also a pretty good 360 and it's 10 times better than that one um, of course spacing need to work here too better but of, as you guys maybe know um, it isn't necessarily always best to have a lot of spacing sometimes it's better to be compact and stay like this because you don't maybe have space for having for example, a larger spacing between uh, everyone. So, try to avoid this. Try to keep it like this. And this, if you can't have more spacing. This also very close, but at the same time, 10 times better than that over there. 10 times. It's very important to at least look in every direction, like have someone looking that one direction, someone looking there, someone looking there, because then you always are sure that you're never going to get flanked uh, and you won't know about it. Like there, they will just get shot instantly, they won't know where from. But here, if this guy see that, oh, we're getting shot from over there, then this guy can fast turn around like that and that guy like there. And then this guy can still keep and hold it back, you know. And if they suddenly get shot from there, then this guy can move and shoot over there, this guy there, and there, and ba boom. You know, 10 times better already. And then you have, for example, when you land the helicopter, this helicopter just landed, they have uh, run out of it, and now they are covering a 360 and the helicopter is taking off. Uh, this is very good to have a 360 when you're leaving the helicopter. What you see so many times is that you'll have the helicopter standing like that on the ground, it's landed. And then everyone just stand like this. They, they they look into the helicopter like that, and then 
some people stand there. Not good, because suddenly this helicopter will take off and, and maybe crash into those people because they're just standing too close. Or they will, the helicopter will take off and then suddenly they're getting flanked and then the only one shooting would then be these people in the gunners, you know. So have covering like this. Very good. And then say if a helicopter is coming in for landing, well then you can't have a spacing like this or a 36 like this because a good pilot will be able to land here, but the more space a helicopter have to land, the more comfortable it will be for the pilot to land. So if you want to make an LC, then space you guys out to have a large um, spacing between you guys and have a large circle. And then pop a blue smoke in the middle. Helicopter will come in, land, and then people can uh, get in. And of course we will go over on trainings like how to enter and leave a helicopter because that's something we need to train on. But I hope at least this showed you guys a bit how to do it and not to do like this because I have never understood this system. I kind of feel it's a bit awkward and a bit hard to shoot over each other. But again, it might just be you guys and be that maybe like to shoot over each other. I'm, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. And then when you have a building, well, then you can't really have a 360 like that face into the building, you know. But then this guy can medic up this guy, for example. And this guy can still cover that way. Perfect. And then that guy can cover there. That guy can cover there. And this guy covered there. Also, what's good is that this guy is proning or uh, like uh, not standing fully up. So if this guy moves back, well, he's not going to get shot because he is standing up. But that's how it's uh, like that's a very good way to do it because now you have covering in every possible direction of course no no one is looking like that way but you can see it in your side like in your side side you know if, if, if I stand like this I can watch all the way over there and this guy you can also watch over there so it won't have much to say you know you guys will still cover in every direction you know all this way you want the only thing you want cover is like this small part behind here but these people will still cover over there and that's the good part if for example have it like this if you just treat people then this is also very good now that guy's covering there this there and this guy covering over there perfect great 10 times better than if you guys just stand like this and plan like okay where should we go should we enter like that okay yeah mm -hmm, okay uh blah blah blah, blah. Not good, because suddenly an enemy can come here and flank you guys, and you will be dead. Alright, so, I hope this video helped you guys. And if you guys have any questions, then put them down in the comments. Or join our Discord server and ask there, or contact one of the staff members. Uh, we will also host some trainings in the near future, where we will show more about this, like what to do, like, 360s and other formations, like the... Um, columns and the lines all of that that's something different but in this video i just want to cover the 360s because that's something we need to work on because this doesn't work thanks have a nice day and i hope you will never make a 360 like this again see ya